Okay, folks, here we go one more time. This is uh, a video that we're going to put together for you to show you how to implement doing the uh, adding the streaming metadata. Now, this is a little bit different than streaming out music and so forth because it's actually not going to play any audio, but we're going to be able to see uh, the writing. Now, what I mean by that, if you had looked at the previous video, you will know what I'm talking about. So this purpose of this video is to show you how to implement this into your uh, Simeon automation system. Now, if you look up here, I'm going to, this, we're working on a live automation system. This is a WJPP system in Stewart, Florida, EWTN radio station. At 11 o'clock today, wrong, wrong, this is bad choice. So let me go to one other thing for you here. Let's go to back to, let's go to 10 o'clock. It's going to be a little bit easier to show you what we're, we have in mind if I can get this to go where I want it to go. Come on, here it is. Don't do this to me. Here we go. Okay, 10 o'clock. You'll notice that this program starts straight up and down. It's an E clock. It's an EWTN domestic clock, and it starts at exactly 10 o'clock in the morning. It had an at sign there. At the at sign, it switched SW4L. The switcher went to... The fourth position of the switcher, which is the satellite network. And uh, just to refresh your memory, because if you're using Simeon, you will should be able to understand this. So we wrote a macro that we stuck in there that says serial star 0041, which means go to the fourth position of the switcher, and it's the number one stereo bus. And I call it SW4L, and that stands, in my mind, for... SW4L is switcher four, position four, live. So I put the EWTN program, domestic program, on the air live at 10 o'clock. Immediately following that, this MAID started to play. It didn't go out over the air because the switcher has already switched EWTN on the air from the satellite. The satellite's playing out over the air. This MAID which stands for Mast Appeal with Kelly Mast, is playing, but there's no audio going to go out. We don't want any audio to go out. But what we do want to go out is this information right here. There we go. So I'm going to bring this up here for you to take a look at. And we wrote in here, Mast Appeal, Saturdays, 9 to 11 a.m., Colleen Kelly Mast. We wrote that into the title and description, artist and advertiser, on this audio file. Now, interestingly enough, there is some audio there, but it doesn't make any difference. It's not going to go out over the air, so we don't care about that. So to show you, that's where it's going to go, and it's going that's going to go immediately after the switch, just as it will do down here, at the bottom of the hour, we go to a break at 37, and then at you'll see, you'll notice at 39, right after the switch, stuck exactly the same file back in there again. Now it's you can put it together quite easily, and, and I'll show you how we do this. I uh, am going to create a a a show of my own, and we'll call this the uh, uh, R E C. ID. That's going to be the Ron Kreider show. Okay. And we're going to save that here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to record an audio file, which doesn't make any difference. We don't really care what it is. It's just recording something that's going out over the air. We don't care what it is because it's not going to play on the air. And I record about 10 seconds of that. I stop it. Then the next thing I do is I go to my uh, event builder I'm going to have to, in the event builder, refresh it because I just recorded it and I don't have it set for auto refresh because I don't like to do that in this particular case. And then I'm going to go up here to type in RECID. And it's going to take me to that file that I just recorded. Right there it is. Okay, RECID. Now, all I need to do is go over here, right click on that. Edit the information, and the information we're going to put in here is the R-O-N-C-R-I-D-E-R-S-H-O-W, 
and it's going to be live from 9 to 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time. Okay, and the title, the, the artist is going to be R-O-N-C-R-I-D-E-R. -E Done. That's all we have to put in there, nothing else. And so what's going to happen now is that whenever it, we build the logs, we're going to put that in immediately following the switch when it switches to put the network on the air. Uh, so let's go back and look and see if it has, eh, we're gonna have to, to, to refresh this again. And let's see, it takes, a, sometimes it takes a little while for it to refresh, but it will do so. And then when it does so, you'll see that that information Nothing worse than doing show and tell and expecting something to happen and what you expect to happen doesn't always happen exactly when you want it to. Well, we're going to keep doing this until we get it right. So it's going to show up here in just a second. You can tell it's, it's working on it right now. So so I'm going to have to edit this. So stand by. And voila, there it is. There is the information that we put in that file. R-E-C-I-D now says Ron Kreider Show, 9 to 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And that's the file that you are going to place. You will drag it over and stick it in right here at the end of the switch. When the switch switches, it, it goes right after the switch because it won't play on the air, but the metadata will stream out, same as it does down here at the bottom of the hour. And that will happen in the uh, Simeon program. Now, we use natural log to build our logs. And so we just write that. We just schedule that right in in the log template for that particular hour. Uh, while I'm here, I'm going to show you one other thing that we have. Uh, I can see if I can bring this down here so you can see it. And uh, it never fails. I can always seem to have an issue with trying to do things on the fly here. Um, what I wanted to show you was I have a, a, a clock program in here that syncs the clock up, and this is called Dimension 4. It's a free clock system, and this syncs the clock uh, in the system, and it, you notice here it says based on the response, your PC was adjusted by 0.39 seconds, and this happens once a minute and this keeps this particular program keeps the computer in sync with the network. Computers, for some reason, tend to want to drift a little bit, and they don't stay right on time. And this seems to sync up best with the EWTN network. It also syncs up pretty well with some of the other networks as well, because we do commercial stations. Uh, we do Gordon Deal's uh, Morning News and... Uh, some uh, Genesis programming, as well as uh, uh, some of the programming from Westward One. And that clock system seems to work quite well. So we, we strongly recommend you do that. Now, one more time, I want to explain how important this, in, uh, this metadata, streaming metadata information is. Because when you put that there, it's going to stream out the people who are listening to the radio station on their iPhone or their tablet or their computer will see that streaming metadata and that will show them what's going on. If you look at a previous video we did, you'll notice uh, exactly how it looks. This is a program just to show you how to, a video to just show you how to implement it. The other one shows you uh, about it. So if you look at the previous video, that ought to give you a good indication as to what this is all about. All righty. Hope you enjoyed the video. You can email me at ronkreider at gmail.com. It's R-O-N-C-R-I-D-E-R -E at gmail.com. Or you can text me at 772-913-2209. You have a great day.